The Google Cloud CLI. What is it? The Google Cloud Command Line Interface, also known as the Google Cloud CLI, is a set of command line tools that are used to access the many services on Google Cloud. As part of the Google Cloud SDK, the CLI makes it easy for developers and administrators to manage their cloud resources and infrastructure from their Linux, Mac OS, or Windows terminal. You can also access it without having to download or install anything by using Cloud Shell, our in-browser shell environment. Several command line tools are bundled within the Google Cloud CLI. First, there's gCloud, the primary CLI tool used to customize your local configuration, manage authentication, and let you access a majority of Google Cloud resources. There are a lot of things you can do with gCloud. Spin up a virtual machine on Compute Engine, create a database on Cloud SQL, grant IAM roles and permissions to users and service accounts, manage your organization's policies, and much more. Virtually anything you can do in the Google Cloud console by pointing and clicking, you can also do with a corresponding gCloud command. Several other CLIs and tools come bundled within the Google Cloud CLI, including BQ, for interacting with BigQuery from the command line. With BQ, you can create and manage BigQuery resources like datasets, jobs, and transfers, and run queries on your BigQuery tables. Next, there's GSUtil for accessing cloud storage from the command line. If you're accessing cloud storage buckets, you'll use GSUtil to create, list, and delete buckets, as well as upload, download, and manage the objects stored in them. And what's more, gCloud can run a number of emulators that will generate data for Bigtable, Datastore, Firestore, PubSub, and Spanner for use in your local development environment. All of these command line tools, gCloud, BQ, GSUtil, and others can be used interactively or programmatically in any automated scripts. So how do you get started using the Google Cloud CLI? If you already have a Google Cloud project, you'll find it pre-installed in Cloud Shell. For local development, it's supported for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows operating systems and requires Python to run. You can install it through your operating systems package manager. And once installed, the Google Cloud CLI supports updates, so you'll always have access to the latest changes and features available on Google Cloud. You can find complete installation instructions at cloud.google.com slash CLI. For more on Google Cloud CLI and how you can get started using it, check out the links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.